Hey, what's up guys? My name is Prince Mason. I'm a beauty portrait, fashion and lifestyle photographer based in Lagos, Nigeria. And today I'll be showing you how to export your pictures from Lightroom. I'll be showing you the best settings that I've seen to work for me. I'm not saying these are the best settings out there. I'm just telling you that these settings have worked for me and this is how I export my pictures to put my Instagram page, to put my website and also for print. So let's get to it. Now, all you have to do is go into Lightroom and look for the picture you want to export. Now, for this project that I'm doing on YouTube today, I'm going to be using this image. So once you get to this image, you double click or not double click, you right click the image or you use two fingers to click in Mac, I don't know what they call it. But yeah, and you go to export, then you go to export. So once you get an export, you pick the folder where you want to put this image. Now for this one, I'll choose to put this image in uh, on my desktop, yes. So I just went on my desktop because I exported it before today. And um, you can create a folder and even here in Lightroom, you can create a subfolder to put your image into it so you can just put it there, you know. But most times I do create subfolders here, but for this I'm not going to create a subfolder. Oh, you know what, let me create a subfolder and name this YouTube Export. Yes. So now for file naming, you can decide to rename your um, images to custom sequences. So if I put this, then I'll put um, YT export. So it's going to start from one, then the next one you're going to export will go to two. Then, you know, it's just going to rename them in custom sequences, right? Then um, I usually ignore the video tab because I don't have anything I'm doing for video here. Now for format, I export to JPEG. So JPEG, sRGB, uh, and um, I set my quality to 100. I do not limit my file sizes. I just leave them the way they are. Then next, I'll move to my image sizing. I'm just going to leave this open so you can see them. I'll move to my image sizing and I'll resize to fit long edge. And I always set this for 1080 pixels. The reason is that, you know, most phones are good at, or most phones actually peak now at 1080, but I know that there are a lot of people that um, have um, devices that go up to 2K and 4K now. But, you know, 1080 is, um, is usually good. It keeps the file sizes small for, you know, um, uploading online to like websites and wherever you want to put them. At the same time, the image quality is still top notch. So I'm just going to leave it there like that and um so pixels by inch i set it to 72 you know which is fine for online media you know it keeps your file sizes relatively small but at the same time you know the image quality is pretty high now for quality i usually do 100 percent but you know you really don't notice anything between 85 to any changes between 85 to 100 percent and you know somewhere around 90 percent or 85 percent will give you um um, um, um a lower file size but at the same time still you know some pretty good high um definition image but um since i have the file size since i have the you know hard drive to take you know file sizes and i just usually leave it at 100 that's uh, to be sincere so for sharpening i do screen sharpening and i do standard i do not do high i just do standard now this sense i just showed you people are the best settings for exporting for web that I have seen, you know, most of my pictures that I put on my Instagram page for my website, this is how I actually export these pictures for that. So for exporting to web or for web, this is why I use, so I'm going to click export now. And um, you see right here that, you know, task complete, completed, and I'll come here. You can see now why I said it created a um, subfolder on my desktop, and this is the image. Uh, yes, quality is, pretty good you know for online um consumption just going to live this year I, I like it uh so uh now if you want to export for print it is different and i'll show you how it's different now you can use the same file um naming um sequence to do the same thing and also create a subfolder for it like i did you know but this time, um, I still leave my image format as JPEG and um, quality at 
this time I'm just going to untick the resize box because I'm not trying to resize the image. When I want to print, no matter how small the book is, I want to print at the highest quality possible. Now for print, your pixels per inch should be between 240 to 300 to give you that really, really high resolution image. So I will change my resolution to 300 PPI and um, I will not sharpen for screen since I don't have to. Normally you could say sharpen for matte paper or glossy paper, but most times I don't know what I'm printing in you know till um i get to the printers and make up my mind so i'm just going to leave it to sh um i'm just going to leave the sharpen for and you know the, the, then metadata still all metadata should be there post processing i'll do nothing and at this point i'm just going to click um export so once i export because i've exported the same picture before it's going to ask me if it should overwrite the image or use a unique name or escape but I want to show you people the difference in quality. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on YouTube. So for that, I'm just going to say use unique name. So it creates two folders with, you know, two unique names. And um, okay, so task completed. Go into my YouTube export folder. And this is the one for the print. Um, really high quality. You can zoom in and see all the details right there. Really high quality. Um, so... Now I'll show you the difference in file sizes. This, when I go to get info, is 300 kilobytes, which is pretty small. You know, you can put this on Instagram as to get like a really high resolution image. You can, you know, upload this to websites because people tend to want um, to upload small sizes to their small file sizes to their website. Then this for print is 11. 0.7 MB, which is huge, you know, so you can print this and you get the full um, quality for um, For your print. So yeah, I hope this helped you guys. This is just a quick video on how to Export images from Lightroom and get this um, are The settings I use I'm not saying that the best settings out there if you use better settings You can let me know, you know and I'm open to learning from you know anybody too. But this I sense I've been using for a long time, and this worked for me. So thank you guys for um, watching my um, little tutorial. Subscribe to my channel, and I'll be bringing you guys a lot more tutorials over the next few weeks, months, and probably years. So thanks a lot. I really appreciate. It. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. You know with whoever you feel is going to be helpful to. So thank you very much, and I'll see you guys some other time. Peace.